Hi guys, it's Bree. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to get this look. And this is my summer makeup routine video. And I'm just going to show you what makeup I wear during the summertime if I do want to wear makeup that day. Because I usually don't wear makeup during the summer. But when I do, this is what I wear. So if you guys want to see how you get this look, then make sure you keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start out with concealer. It looks like this, and it is a highlighter plus a concealer. And what I do is just put this under my eyes, so it gives it a little glow, and it conceals um, if I have any under eye circles or anything like that. Okay, so then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend all this through. And if you don't have a beauty blender, then you could just use your ring finger because it's the softest finger out of all your fingers, and you don't want to get um, wrinkly under eye circles when you're older. So you just want to prevent all of that. So just use your ring finger if you don't have a beauty blender and just try to blend it out as much as you can. So next what I'll do is just take a BB cream or any light foundation and I'll just put it over this because I do have some red cheeks because I am sunburned. So this is going to make my skin tone super even and even everything out so I'm all the same color. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and again if you have a beauty blender then you could totally use it. but. For you guys out there who don't have beauty blenders, I'm just going to put it all over my face and use my fingers. This does have SPF in it, so it basically is a sunscreen, but you just rub it in like a sunscreen. Super easy. So this is what it looks like when it's all blended out, um, and again I use a BB cream or you can use a light foundation, and you can layer this, so if you have any like pimples that you need to cover up, just take a little more, put it on the back of your hand, and put it on your finger and just kind of like spot treatment the pimples, because you can just use this as a concealer also. So once you're done with that, I usually just take a powder and set my whole face, and I'll just use the powder everywhere, just so my makeup stays in place and it's not going to like come off. And the one that I'm using is the Revlon Nearly Naked. Then after the powder, I'm just going to use a bronzer, and this one is by Benefit. And it's just going to give my face a tanner look because it is summertime. So you, everyone wants that like tan, glowy, beautiful skin. And if you don't have that, then a bronzer you can totally do. But what you want to do is go like this and bronze just like top like your cheekbones and make it really nice and pretty. So the bronzer just gives you like a nice. Um, really contoured, defined face, and you can also use it on your temples, but I just kind of like using it right here. And it is super easy to over contour, so you want to be careful with that. So you just want to build it up. So just get a little bronzer on your brush at first, and then add more if you need it. But you don't want to go in super heavy right at first. So after I bronze, this is what it looks like. And now what I'm gonna do is use my Anastasia Brow Wiz Crayon. But I'm just gonna take this and kind of fill in my eyebrows a little bit. I don't want them super defined, but I just kind of want to get rid of the bald spots on them. So I'm just gonna twist up the little pencil side of this and fill in my eyebrows. So as you guys can see, I'm just using small little strokes. Kind of like the bronzer, you can always build onto the product. So you just want to start out small. So you can just flip it on over and comb through that and just make it super soft and natural so your brows are just looking absolutely fabulous. I just used this pencil and I penciled in my brows and then I brushed them out like I told you guys. And I prefer using a pencil over um, a powder if you want a powder in your eyebrows just because this is more waterproof and I like that better especially since it's summer because you're going to be sweating, you're going to go to the beach and the pool and you don't want any of your makeup coming off. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to move on to my eyes, and I keep it super simple, and honestly guys, I just curl my eyelashes and put on some mascara. That's pretty much all I do, so, you know, curl your eyelashes like you usually do, and then once your eyelashes are curled, you just want to take your favorite waterproof mascara, and mine is the L'Oreal Telescopic one, and I really like this because the applicator is really tiny and small and precise. So you can just get really in there and it looks really pretty once it's finished. Okay, so this is what my eyelashes look like now. And one of the final things I'm gonna do, I'm not quite done yet, but we only have like one more thing, which is lips, I'm not gonna take a long time. But just so you can make your eyes a little more open and awake, my tip is to take a white or nude colored eyeliner. Um, I got this from NYX and it's the Jumbo Eye Pencil. And what you want to do is just highlight your highlight your inner corners with this. And I prefer using a pencil just because, like I said before, with the eyebrows, it stays on longer than if you use a powder. So 
you just want to put it right in the inner corner of your eye and just highlight that up. I look like an alien, so what you want to do is just take one of your fingers, it doesn't really matter. I'm sorry if it looks like I'm flicking you guys off, but you just want to blend it, kind of close your eye a little and kind of blend it, and just kind of make it like a soft, it, soft highlight. So you're kind of like, oh wow, her eyes look like open and just wow. So that's, that's our goal. That is our goal with this highlighting. Inner corner highlighting, you just want people to look at you and be like, wow, her eyes just look so big and highlighted and great so now my last thing is lips and I use two lip products one is my EOS and one is my NYX butter gloss and I know butter gloss um, or lip gloss doesn't really stay on in the water but I just thought it was a pretty pretty color and I'm just gonna use it cuz that was it for my makeup look I really hope you guys enjoyed comment down below your favorite makeup product that I use uh, it could be the bronzer it could be the lip color it could be the inner corner highlight because it's just so eye-popping and catching okay anyway and then tweet me Instagram me show me a picture if you recreate this or if you have a summer makeup look that you want to show me I would love 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 to see it and thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you later bye